गाइस सो द ट्रिप फॉर लास वेगस इज ऑलमोस्ट ओवर एंड बिफोर आई कंक्लूड दिस ट्रिप I thought that I would like to give you all the all the tips tricks things to do things not to do in in this uh, sin city so I have segregated this three uh, this things into various different subtopics and I'll take each of these sub subtopics one by one so that you are aware uh, on all these topics what you need to do and how you need to do but uh, believe me this is just my version of uh, planning the trip you may have thousand different types to do so lots of information is available on internet trip advisor youtube everywhere and i have tried to consolidate everything in my own simple way the way i did in last 4 days in this uh, in this city so yes let's see what i feel uh, the city is all about so okay let's go one by one first is stay so you have mainly three options uh to stay first is on the strip which is the most lively and ex- expensive part of it expensive because all the resorts are really really nice they are like world class facilities on top of the room nights or uh, stay that you have to pay you also have to pay something known as resorts fee which is almost uh, 15 to 25 dollars per night so that will add up to your cost this resort fee is mainly charged to recover for expenses like uh, their uh, pool area gym and various in house facilities that guests can use for then second is downtown downtown is where the fremont street experience is so there also have lots of uh, nice places to stay things uh, uh, all all sorts of hotels and resorts and casinos as well they give you a little old time feel but they are very lively uh, especially the fremont street experience that's quite lively and then the other option is to stay off the strip so that is relatively cheap and calm because uh, those places they don't have casinos in house casinos in them and they are relatively uh, cheaper as, as well as off the strip most of these hotels uh, provide free shuttle to one or the other casino so that you don't feel you are uh, isolated from it second is uh, mode of travel so from the airport you can uh, take various options you can take taxi from the airport by a meter taxi and chances are very high that you will end up paying more because uh, if you are new to the town uh, you be ready to pay more the or other option is uber and lift uh, which is re- re- relatively very cheaper uh, depending on the strip or uh, location where you are staying uh, the cost could range from 11 to 25 to 30 dollar max and uh, it's very convenient the airport is throughout wifi until the parking garage where you pick up your uh, uh, shuttle uh, so that you don't uh, miss out on the wifi signal in case you are not from usa and uh, the other option to reach from airport is the own uh, transport that uh, the resorts will provide you can book one of uh, one of the private uh, transfers from them or check with your hotel or resort where you are staying if they give you complimentary airport transfers uh, then the second uh, option is public transport paid when i say public transport paid it's i may i mean by duos bus or the stx bus which we already saw so you have three types of tickets one is 5 dollar for 2 uh, hour validity then 8 dollar for 24 hour validity and 20 dollars for 3 days uh, validity and uh, these are all unlimited transfers according to me this is the best option then free transport uh, or let's say complimentary transport is the use of tram which uh, which uh, we covered right from mendeley bay all towards uh, bellagio so that's also a good option then own transport so most of the people i observed uh, are coming via own transport meaning they they drive in their own cars uh, it's very convenient and easy however one thing you need to keep in mind is that mostly all the hotels or resorts charge you a parking fee for your uh, car or a truck that you are driving and also w- within the city when you are uh, going from one resort to another 
there is a high chance that you will end up paying parking fees uh, each and every place where you go plus uh, on the strip and off the strip there is a lot of traffic during peak hours and on what to say it's always peak hour here so you need to be ready for it but it gives you a massive flexibility so let me show you on the map uh, so on travel and the stay option on how to cover these uh, these locations so now let me show you the the key resorts and hotels and casinos in a nice uh, map format and also will take you from uh, how we went from one resort to another resort almost free of cost so for example uh, if you see here this is Mandalay Bay and we have a free tram from Mandalay Bay to Luxor to Excalibur so this is covered by tram 1 then from Excalibur you can uh, hop on to New York New York by crossing this bridge and from New York New York you can go to Park MGM again Park MGM Aria, Vidara City uh, Center, Las Vegas and Bellagio they are all connected by another tram which is also complementary so you can see that from Mendeley Bay to Bellagio which is right in the center of the strip you can reach just free of cost and uh, at the same time you can uh, see a lot of uh, good things in between on the parallel side you can see that you have uh, Tropicana and uh, important location uh, not to miss is MGM Grand so MGM Grand you can just cross when you reach Excalibur you can just cross the road to MGM Grand and then once you are in uh, Bellagio then you can uh, walk down to uh, Caesars Palace and Mirage as well as Paris Paris so this covers most of the good uh, resorts uh, in in one shop uh, in one stop and then uh, where is the ferris wheel so this is the link promenade that's that's your uh, high roller that uh, you need to go in case you are uh, planning to visit preferably during the night time uh, that's the suggestion and then right in the north of the strip uh, we are uh, at stratosphere which is the uh, which is a key location for adrenaline junkies it's an adventure place uh, where you have some really uh, high thrill seeking rides and in between you have various other uh, resorts and casinos like uh, Belize, Flamingo, Haraz and uh, what more yes you have Trump as well Trump Casino and last but not, not the least uh, you have Circus Circus which is right on the north end of the strip and uh, yes this is it this is how the whole uh, uh, Las Vegas strip is covered and on the other other end if you see on the south side you have a uh, shopping mall of uh, outlet uh, outlet no, premium outlet uh, shopping mall and on the north side you have uh, north premium outlet for shopping and in between you have uh, other malls uh, like fashion show mall and times square mall uh, in between the strip so that, that's that's in short then the third thing is about uh, entertainment so there are various things uh, the city has to offer for all uh, age and uh, age group of the people right from the casinos to sports betting and races live shows you can take helicopter rides, stratosphere where you can do a lot of adventure rides, limousine rides and many many more. And if you are not satisfied by this then you can have lots of other options like this. So yeah I have put all the things that I could get in front of you and believe me this is just a limited number of brochures that I managed to get from my resort but yeah almost everything for every kind of a person that, that is traveling to this city so I am sure no one is going to get bored in this this place next would be shopping so if you are looking for some bargains on uh, outlet shopping then there are two options one is Las Vegas premium outlet south 
and another is Las Vegas Premium Out Outlet North. You could be very lucky to find some good deals, but uh, in case you are coming from USA, this is nothing new for you. But if you are coming out of USA, then yes, you might want to do some shopping. Then uh, second option is malls. Uh, you have really nice malls on the on the strip. Uh, like uh, town square mall which is right on the south uh, south part of the strip then fashion show mall neiman marcus and and uh, lots more uh, then third option is shops on the strip you have standalone shops as well of various brands uh, uh, that you can walk into within the strip itself and La last but not the least in resort shopping almost all the resorts hotels have their own uh, area of shopping and you can get almost all the brands you name it you have it uh, the best one i found was uh, in uh, caesar's palace i really like that uh, shopping experience in caesar's palace so you don't need to step out at all you are in your resort and you will not feel that you are away from anything then uh, next would be eating around so yes it's also in resort on strip downtown and yes it's almost everywhere but just one thing to keep in mind is that if you are dining within your resort please be ready to pay some uh, extra bucks because uh, you have to pay the fees of the high rental of resorts as well so for example if you have a johnny rockets burger off the strip or off the resort it will be little cheaper compared to when you eat in the same joint within the resort you will pay almost uh, 15 to 20 percent more so that's part of it and last but not the least many people would think about it on this important aspect safety yes i found uh, the city very safe uh, even safe to walk on the strip uh, in the middle of the night be it any time however all the cities of the world have their own uh, various issues so here as well you be cautious uh, don't go to areas where you are not supposed to go but if you are on the strip uh, it's pretty safe so that's it that's all i wanted to uh, split this uh, session on six different topics and uh, that's my version of uh, Las Vegas tips and tricks for you so this is it the trip to the US comes to an end hope you liked all my videos on San Francisco and Las Vegas if you have not seen all of them kindly go back and see all these videos because they have turned out to be really amazing and uh, if not already done kindly subscribe to my channel till then Goodbye, have fun and we'll catch up you with you very soon. See you. I never made it, but I know I